Okay, <clears throat> how can you edit a website template using Notepad? I've been using a lot of editors like um, Composer and Expression Web and Visual Studio Code. Right now, I'm not downloading one because I, I'm just going to use Notepad just for quickness. Note pads on every computer. It's like WordPad. <clears throat> but WordPad is for writing text and it has things underneath. Notepad is clear. It's completely clear. There's no nothing underneath for underline this and strike through in it and all that's plava. So you can have coding on it. So if I go to file, open, I can go to a folder. I've got one ready. You can download them on many sites, free HTML5 templates, this, that, and the other. So I'm going to a document. It's got to be extracted. It can't be zipped, otherwise it won't be seen. It's got to be unzipped, which is extracted. Now down here you see text documents. You've got to click that and go to all files. That's when all of these pages are now seen because they're not just text files. They are .html file extensions or .javascript or .dot whatever you're using, CSS, PHP, whatever. And so if I double click on that, the HTML is shown on the notepad. If I maximize there, I've got the whole HTML page. And I can start editing. You can start, you can edit from here. Meta down here. Um, this will be some sort of nav bar. You can see it there, nav ID, nav bar. Home, about us, services, portfolio, etc. Downloaded a very basic one. I'm gonna do some editing on. I'm just gonna start and move. Um, so I've got a hero section, section ID hero. That will be linked to a CSS page for the styling. So H1 here, welcome to Amoeba. I'm going to change that. Put the name in, name in. Fan. In the H2 section, it says we are a team of talented designers. This is on the template. I might put something like this is my portfolio. I'm just showing you how we can edit things. Um, okay, I'm gonna quickly go to file, save. I don't think it says anything. The problem with not having a proper editor, you won't have a preview button. So you gotta make all your changes, then come out. I've gotta to go to documents. And find a document I'm working on, Amoeba. To preview in the browser, you have to double click on the HTML page. Index, that's the default home page. It's taking its time, I feel. Taking its time, probably because the screen recorder is on. That took a bloody while. Okay. So we just changed that there. If I scroll down, so that'd be like um a sort of a hero section with a with a parallax scrolling bit. That's quite nice. Um Damien found is my portfolio. Get started. So that there, if I click on that. That scrolls to there. So that's an anchor to that bit. I'll show you in the HTML. And this nav bar will be the same. If I click on one of any one of them, 
if I click on services it sort of scrolls because they link a link so you can edit what you want on this you can change the images and so forth now that's an image that'll have a gradient over it green you could probably take what well, you can do when you do what you want you edit on it so I can yeah. go back to notepad Let's have a look. Uh, right, we're back on here. And again, they're not showing because I've got to go down to scroll down and click on all files. And then double click that, maximize. I've got to do that on mine. You might not have to on yours, but um, the header. And this is where the header was. Hero section. No, that's the nav bar. And as you can see, A for anchor. Scroll to href. And that hashtag refers to the section. That'd be a section, so it would scroll down to that. Hero about sections. So you can, you can edit where you want and you would have to do more editing in the CSS page so I can open that CSS I've got to click down to scroll down all files again so it doesn't stay there it goes back to text documents only that would be the default setting click on double click on CSS and here we go right now I'm interested to know that gradient of the Sort of hero section back to top. header header section height might be that Z index or might be that that's a hex color that might give it the green overlay I'd have to look into that but I can edit all the CSS here with notepad so you don't actually have to download expression web or dreamweave whatever you use you can do all the notepad no preview I'm afraid but so let's have a look for more on this template open you can do JavaScript on this as well assets section there's a JavaScript folder Again, I've got to go to the files, and there's the JavaScript. That'll be on a gallery. Most of this will be to do with the, oh, I see a nav bar. I can see their nav bar link. So that'll be to do the toggle, the scrolling, and I'm pretty sure some sort of gallery. Also, image section, portfolio team, so it's divided, no items, but again, I've got to go to all files. They're not text, they'll be in, they're in, a, that one's in JPEG, 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 could be in others, like ping, but these are all JPEG. So you could either swap images in here, keep the same title, or choose a different name, and then change that name in the HTML. So as you can see, you can do all your editing on Notepad. Because there's nothing underneath, you see, it's clear. WordPad has many things underneath. Different layers, you know, different layers. And that's why you can't code on it. So there it is, there's Notepad.